Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's live call. I am Dr. Shelley Nash, and I am an elite level mindset coach. I help women just like yourselves to elevate your confidence and style and really claim the success that you deserve. So today we're broadcasting in Living Powerfully Community, which is the Facebook group that I host um, all these calls in on mindset topics weekly for you to gain knowledge and experience to uh, achieve the goals that you want um, throughout the year. So I thought this was a perfect um, topic since we're at the beginning of the year, purpose, vision, and goals. And say hi if you're, if you're here. Let me know who's here and where you're from in the chat. Love to have you participate in the call with me. And um, make sure you click the StreamYard approval button so I know who you are when you come in. So purpose, vision, and goals. This is, um, I think a lot of people get really confused about these, these topics. They maybe think it, they're the same or they just don't know um, where these fit together. Um, mostly we're used to um, people talking about goals in the beginning of the year, resolutions, goals, what are you going for? Um, and often we don't hear about purpose, vision, and goals. Um, we hear about your life purpose. How many here know what your life purpose is? This is something that we should know <laughs> from a very early age, yet it's often not taught how to figure out what is your purpose, what is your life purpose. And, and so who here is struggling with um, setting goals for the year or really understanding what their purpose is? You can put me in the chat and just put goals or purpose or both and let me know. Um, always feel free to reach out to me as well. I offer a free um, consultation and especially this time of year, even if you don't have your goals set, you know, maybe we can get you some more clarity on that. It's so helpful to talk to someone. Um, that happened to me actually last week when I was just talking to a friend. I got super clear about um, something that I was confused about. So it helps to run it by someone. So send me a DM and messenger and we can get together. So let's get into the topic at hand. So purpose, the big word purpose. Now, we all have uh, have a purpose. I believe we're we're born with these unique talents and abilities that are unique to us. You know, we're like a snowflake. Every one of us is different. No one's going to have the same purpose as someone else. It might be similar, but it's not going to be the same because you bring you to the party <laughs> of what you're doing in your life. So when you're when you're born, you're you're like meant to discover this. It's hard hardwired in you, and so you go about your early life, you know, figuring out what do you love to, you know, you just naturally go about what do I love to do, you know, your likes and dislikes and things like that. So, um, your definite purpose is why you're here, and don't you think that's important to know why you're here, what you're here to do, what in your life on the planet. <laughs> I think this is so important and so often we're not clear about it. And so then we, when we go out and set, set goals, we don't know what our purpose is. So we're kind of floundering around with our goals because we don't really know the guiding force behind the goals that we've set. So it comes from knowing what you're good at and what you love to do. And these two things, what you're good at and what you love to do, should come naturally to you. Um, it's what you get juiced and excited about and what gets you moving um, once you know what it is, you know, what you love and what you get excited about and what you're good at. So the key is, what do you really love? And when you discover what you really love, um, you want to fall in love with this idea of this goal, uh, or actually of your purpose, um, fall in love with the idea of your purpose. So I'm, I, I, um, took notes this morning, so I'm going off my notes. If you see me glancing down every once in a while to, I want to follow through with my notes to keep me on track, but it's the key is what do you really love? And a lot of people say, you know, you've heard the phrase, 
do what you love and the rest will follow. And a lot of people feel like what they love is, is great and they discover it, but they don't think they can make any money at it. And that is not really your concern at this point. Your concern at this point is to discover your purpose. And really you can make money at anything that you really love to do. So once you discover it, so in the discovering process of your purpose, don't think about how you're going to make money at it. That will come naturally. It has to, because that's how things are designed. You're designed to do this thing. So if you were designed to do this thing, then there's a way that you can make money doing the thing you love. Doesn't that make sense? Why would our creator have us doing things that we don't love and doing things we're not good at and being unhappy for our lives? It doesn't even make sense. So um, fall in love with this idea. So love has a resonance. Love has a vibration. And so you want to get in the same frequency of this idea of what it is that you love, what it is you're good at. And so you want to be in love with the idea from your conscious level of mind. You want to be in love with the idea from your emotional feeling level of mind. We call that the subconscious mind. And when you're in love and in sync with your, with your idea from your conscious mind and your subconscious mind, that creates a resonance. And that resonance we could call a vibration and your body goes into the vibration of love for this idea. And you want to love your idea of who you are and your purpose with your whole being, your mind and body. That mind body connection is so important. You're vibrating at this level of love for your idea. And what does that do for you? Then this idea guides you then this idea pushes you to get out of bed in the morning. It's the passion, it's the fire that, that wakes you up way before your alarm clock because you're so excited to go about doing what it is that you love. And you're on a mission, you know, you're just like um, driven to do what it is you're here to do. I like to call it your heart's desire, how I just described that, your heart you know, it's like your whole being, your body, mind connection is your heart's on purpose with your heart's desire. It's in love. It's in resonance. And then you're spreading that energy and that love to the world wherever you go. And that's attractive. You attract more back of the same when you're in that mode. So this is a deep passion that really drives you internally. So do you have that? Put yes in the chat if you have that. Put no, I want that in the chat if that's where you're at. So this is the thing that takes you center stage in your life, your purpose. Like you're the star of your life. You're on track. And this is why you do what you do. Um, it's so important, you guys, this purpose. So um, if you feel like you have it, if you feel like you don't, let me know either way in the chat. Um, so I was also reading something about failure this morning, and, and this really struck me um, that failure means you're not in harmony with what you're doing. You're not in harmony. You're not in sync with what you're trying to do. So um, that's why you have, um, like you start doing something and then you stop or something happens and where you don't, you're not successful at it. Think about that, not being in harmony with what you, what you're doing. And you can think about this in relationship too. If you've been in relationships that have worked, um, you know, that there's that feeling of love between the two people you are in sync. You're in sync consciously, subconsciously, and with your bodies. You're in the love vibration together. And so if, if you apply, and then if the relationship doesn't work, then you've fallen out of harmony. You've fallen out of love consciously, subconsciously, or with the body connection. Somewhere there's a disconnect, and then the relationship doesn't work. So think about the relationship as your purpose. And when you fall out of harmony with your purpose, then you have a failure. And it's so much easier to think about failure that way 
And in a way, failure, we need to have those um, small failures along the way to success anyway. It's kind of how we gauge whether we're on purpose. Um, so, and when you're, when you feel those, you won't, fe you'll feel off. You'll, you'll notice it right away. Um, you won't like the feeling in your body. And then that's a sign that, oh, bring me back to my purpose. I'm, I'm off purpose here. So you don't want to conform to what other people, um, say you should do in your life. Um, this is very true when you're growing up and your parents, you know, suggest a career for you that they think you should do, and then you do what they think you should do. Um, or maybe other people, maybe school advisors and think, things like that. You want to go inside. You want to follow your own dream and really listen to yourself because the truth is you do know. You do know what you're good at. You know what you love, what you love. And if you look at all the things, you know, depending on your age, you can track back in your life and what have you loved through your entire life? What's been the thread that's been consistent through your entire life? I actually do a pro in my coaching program. I do um, a workshop or a, a series. Um, we do a class <laughs> where we it's talked about finding your genius. And that is what I call the golden thread that you were born with a genius, these unique talents and abilities. And that genius should have a thread that goes through your entire life until you die. And, and maybe it goes on after that. We don't know, but who is, who is the genius inside of you and, and discover that for yourself. Um, the exercise we do in coaching is really amazing. And um, it's always um, just really inspiring when people discover their genius. And um, so if you're interested in that, um, let me know and I'll talk to you more about that part of the coaching program. So uh, page two of my notes. <laughs> so you have purpose, which leads to vision, which then leads to a goal. Um, purpose is the main the main thing that you have to start with. And if you think of the purpose sort of like the sun, you know, the sun doesn't move. The sun's, well, I don't know, the sun probably moves in the galaxy, but they think of the sun as being the stationary object and the planets moving around the sun. So this is how your purpose should be so solid. And then your vision and your, and your goals would be moving around the sun. Now I have another analogy that you're going to like as well for that, but let's talk about the vision. Your vision is like the strategy or your map of how you're going to accomplish your life's purpose. So you want to create this strategy, map it out, and then you want to maintain it and you want to maintain it. You want to keep your eye on it because um, you, you might want to change the strategy at certain points um, to the, as you're, as you're going towards um, living your life purpose. So I guess I'll tell you this other example because it really opened up these three things, purpose, vision, and goals for me when I heard this example. So I want you to think of your purpose as the top of a mountain, as the very top of a mountain is your purpose, your life purpose, what you're, what you're going for every single day in your life. It's not, and you're, um, you're always living your purpose, but your purpose is your guiding force. So it's the top of the mountain. And then you have your starting point, you know, when you're born, you could call when you're born, your starting point. And, or you could call today your starting point, if you're really into this idea. And so you start and you're, and you're living your purpose and you're going, going for continuing to live your purpose throughout your life. But going up the mountain, the mountain is the vision. The mountain is your map or your strategy. So you want to create a plan for how to live your purpose. And then along the way on the mountain are these base camps. As you're going hiking up the mountain, you have base camps that you reach and you take a rest and then you go to the next base camp. So think of the base camps along the mountain as your goals. 
and you always want to set a really big goal that's going to cause you to grow that's going to be a goal you don't even know how you're going to achieve so each of these goals along the mountain are big goals there are big juicy goals that are exciting for you along the way to living your purpose so back to the analogy the top of the mountain is your purpose your starting point is at the bottom the mountain is is the vision the strategy that you create to live your life purpose and then along that mountain are base camps which are your goals which are the the places you get to and when you get to the first goal that you're going for you're going to sit back you're going to evaluate you're going to say maybe i had a plan for the second goal but maybe that needs to change maybe i need to reevaluate my vision and my strategy for living my life purpose so every time you reach a goal you reevaluate and actually it's a daily process to reevaluate your goal to say is this the goal is this am i in alignment with the goal am i Am I feeling in resonance with this goal? Is this goal on purpose to my life purpose, to my purpose? So you're always reevaluating that. So does that help you? Um, that helped me so much, the mountain, the strategy, and the goals. Um, so I hope that helps you as well. Um, the vision, again, your vision is the strategy to fulfill your life purpose. Um, and then you have several short-term goals along the way of fulfilling your life's purpose. Life's purpose is your entire life too. So this is a, this is a journey that you're going on. Vision, um, it's key to connect with this vision, this strategy daily. And there's three points here of, of why you want to connect with this life your life purpose and your strategy to get there daily you want to set the course for for your vision um, for being on life purpose you want to stay involved with it and focused on the process daily and this is where a lot of a lot of us get off track too um, this daily focus because what happens is the old habits the old self the old beliefs come in to sabotage us and um, negative thoughts, false beliefs, limiting beliefs come in to sabotage us on the way to our purpose. Um, all of that was programmed into us at an early age. We call it a paradigm and the paradigm is mixed up of with habits, beliefs and our self image. So we are constant, we constantly need to battle those old habits, beliefs, and self-image in order to get to these goals. And that's one of the hardest things. Um, and in fact, it's so hard that most people don't do that battle on their own. They need support, accountability, and coaching to get over the stronghold that the old paradigm has on us. And so um, the, the key around the purpose around that heart's desire, around setting that first, is because your heart's desire is the only thing strong enough to do battle with your old self, your old limiting beliefs, your old image of yourself, your old habits. So you have to have this strong enough desire in order to be willing to go through the battle that you're gonna go through with, you could call it your former self. So, First is stay the course, stay involved, focus on the process. Second is you've got to begin. You have to start. Um, you uh, many people get caught up in um, getting ready to get ready, you know, preparing to go on the trip, um, you know, packing the bags, gathering things. Um, but really nothing happens until you start. And I love this. Uh, also, the analogy is like you you can't, you've got, you're at point A and you want to go to point B and you really can't get to point B unless you let go of point A. You have to be willing to let go of the past, of let go of where you are right now and go into this place that's in between point A and point B, which is the unknown, which is scary, which feels uncomfortable, 
but you have to go there in order to get where you want to go. And I think a lot of people forget that, forget that it's necessary to let go of where you've been, um, to go where you want to go. And really, if you are having a time, hard time beginning, you're procrastinating beginning, it's really a sign that there's fear there um, and that there's a there's maybe a desire for perfection. And you really need that. You don't need to do it perfectly. The path will be revealed to you. Um, you don't need to know how everything's going to be happening. Um, you just need to start and all the details will be revealed to you. Um, the main thing is to set this foundation of purpose and then begin and then go. And then number three is to enjoy the journey, <laughs> enjoy the path, enjoy your life. Um, it's here for you to enjoy it. And remember the fact that you love it. This is what you love to do. So remember to enjoy the journey as you're going along. So what else did I want to tell you about my notes today? Um, I already told you this, but I'll say, say this again, because when you get off track, when you get off, we'll call it off purpose, you'll know because you don't feel good about yourself and you don't feel good about what you're doing. So that's when you immediately want to reevaluate. You want to um, reevaluate where you got off track, where you got out of resonance with doing what you're good at and doing what you love, right? And Bob Proctor, one of my mentors says, when you are on purpose, your goal guides you to the good you desire. When you're on purpose, your goal guides you to the good you desire. So just keep on keeping on, <laughs> keep going. Um, so how did, um, any questions from you guys, put them in the chat, um, put that, put hashtag replay if you're watching um, this um, in the replay form. I hope this has helped you today to really think about your goals in a new way, really go back and, and discover what your purpose is. This is actually where we start out in my coaching. We actually go through this exact lesson um, in a little bit more detail on purpose, vision, and goals so that you, so that you really get this solid foundation. Um, I think what I discover with coaching um, people of all different ages, of all different um, levels of personal development is even if they've had a lot of personal development in their life, they may not have built this solid foundation and it comes back to haunt them. It comes back to bite them because they don't really know what their purpose is. They, they are just kind of going around in circles and never really getting what they want because they don't have that solid foundation. So this is an essential piece to um, um, discovering, you know, who you are, what your genius is, what your purpose is, and then going wherever you want to go in your life. So with that, oh, I want to make another announcement. There's an announcement I made in the group yesterday. My next five day workshop is called The Confident Woman, Her Life, Her Style. She is empowered, she's certain, and she is stylish. So make sure to sign up for the next five day workshop. It's February 7th through the 11th at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And um, we love, love to have you um, join me for that class. It's free. Share it with your friends. It's going to be different than any other class that I've done before. So even if you've done my classes before, you'll want to come to this one. Um, it's about developing that confidence and style to really have the success that you desire. And so confidence and style work synergistically to help you um, achieve your goals. And so that's what we're going to be talking about during that class. So I look forward to seeing you there. Um, that's all I have for today. So have a great day, great week, second week of January, and really rock it. Be on fire. Um, find that passion within you that's going to drive you to do what's, what you don't want to do, do what's uncomfortable, and keep you going to achieve the fulfilled life purpose that you want at the end of your life. So 
with that, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.